What a You ran into a Mimic again? Both of you did! Yo, Mimics, can you, like, relax here? It's, like, early game, dog. <laughs> I'm trying to talk to the people and manage the store, and you guys run into, like, Mimics non-stop. What is going on, everybody? Welcome to Weapon Shop Fantasy. I'm your host, the Weaponsmith Birdman, known as Falcon. This right here cropped up on my purview a couple of days back, and I unfortunately passed up on it. And I feel really disappointed that I did that, because I actually decided to just today. I was like, you know what? Let me just buy this game and see what it's all about. It's like a $7 game, so I bought it. You know what? I had a lot of fun with this. Uh, this right here is essentially a Weaponsmith Tycoon game. Um, really fun time sink. There's a lot to do, a lot to uncover. It's got a really silly storyline as well. You essentially get this. You are a vampire. You might just well be Dracula. And what happens is that Belmont... No Simon, no Richter, just a Belmont, comes to your castle, destroys it, and unfortunately for you, you owe a lot of money because you want to necessarily get your castle back, so you actually get a loan from another vampire, you have to run a weapon shop. It's really silly, I know. And you employ different characters to kind of go out and hunt for animals, or hunt for resources, mining, you know, uh, chopping down wood. In your shop, you'll have people working on refining those tools and actually making weapons, as I apparently lose my voice here today as well. Um, it's a really, really fun game. Let's get into it over here and show you what it's all about. Um, if you guys enjoyed this, let me know in the comments. Let me know by leaving a like, and we might keep this around for a bit. I'm going to do like at least one or two videos to kind of give you a gist of it, but it's a really fun game. All right, let's start off over here. We have Dracula69. Oh, no. He's trying to hide. He's trying to hide because guess who's coming up right now? The person we owe a lot of money to. You can't see me. Apparently, he's John Cena, too. You can't see me? <laughs> Come on, I'm also a vampire. Give me back my money! The money I borrowed. I've spent it all. I knew it. That's why I'm here today. To fix this problem for you. If you don't do as I say, I will tie you up and hand you to that sadist myself, he's been looking for you everywhere. They're talking about Belmont. I'm sure he'd be happy to see you. Belmont. I would not have to be here if it wasn't for him. Oh, my castle. Then you'd better listen. I'd like you to run a weapon shop. Just between you and me, I've heard that the war is about to start. You are gonna make a fortune. First, I'm gonna lend you some more money to get started. And this right here is gonna be our very first employee, but check this out, I love this right here. Oh, you bring me takeout food. <laughs> he was gonna suck her dry, cause he's Dracula. For God's sake, this is not takeout food. She's your first staff. Oh, look at Dracula69, he's very disappointed. Takeout food? Where is it? Yeah, our first employee is uh, a ditz, I love it. Take this recipe and start up money. I will keep records along with interest, compound interest, insurance fee, processing fee, etc, etc. We basically owe our entire livelihood to this woman here. Alrighty guys, so we are finally set to go here. Um, we got a reward of 1500 gold, one branch, and also the sharpened branch here to ready to go. So, what I will be doing here is I will be disabling this tutorial just because I'm fairly confident with what I'm doing with this game now. Let me come over here though and first and foremost, we're gonna have to set up a crafting table. And also a chest for us to store the items that we actually create, for selling purposes, obviously. Now, Lisa should be available over here. Let's set her to work. And she will automatically go into the open um, work slot, imaginable, right? So over here we have the crafting. And the very first thing we have to do right now is going to be make ourselves a sharpened branch. This will be just to prove to the head vampire lady that we indeed can indeed run a weapon shop here. So let's come over here and we shall deliver this. Now, in case you're wondering about this, the main quest will be stuff that you have to do over time to proceed the story. Sub stuff will be to actually um, do special requests by customers and also to actually unlock new equipment and also new staff members recruits. And then the staff members will also have their own missions that will increase their slots for skills and stuff like that. So um, this will be missions. And then you obviously have the run the store just by making weapons and selling weapons over time. So there's a lot of cool stuff to do here. It's actually very surprising. First and foremost, let's go ahead and deliver this sharpened branch. And we'll skip this here for now. So this right here is going to give us 2,000 gold, 10 branches, and it's also going to open up the new Adventurer's map, which is something um, very important because it's going to be the very first map we'll be looking for items, whether it's to cut down trees, mine some stones, or even fight enemies for rarer 
uh, drops and stuff like that. So what I need to do now is first and foremost, let's grab ourselves the old horsey horse because we need a horse to go out adventuring, man. We absolutely do. All right, so let me drag her on over here. And we're going out adventuring to the beginner's forest, so let's go. Now, keep in mind, this right here is very important. This will tell you, or at least it'll keep you um, sped up if you want to. And I definitely suggest you speed up. Now, the problem with speeding up is that when you... Let me come over here and show you. This is going to be where they're out here finding enemies and, like, you know, cutting down trees and, you know, mining for ore. But what's cool is that you can actually jump back and forth. So you can do stuff in your store, like set up recipes and sell stuff and, you know, look for quests. And you can also jump over here. And you keep track of what's happening out here through here. Now, the problem is that you'll sometimes get really engrossed with your store, that you'll forget that your people are out there dying. And sometimes they'll die instantly because they will run into enemies that they can't really take on early on. So... If they die, don't you worry, they don't actually die, they just get knocked out. They come back, and then they have to rest up, and you send them back out. Every time you send them out, though, it does cost money, so keep that in mind. But right now, with the first quest, she will usually succeed. Lisa is really not the most ideal person to have out there, mind you. Um, I really want to get um, at least a regular warrior for that. She'll be more of a, you know, person in a store type of um, character. So I really want to get a legit warrior out there for our questing. So, there you go. Um, we got the iron ore, 10 of them. We got 10 small fur. And this was to proceed the main story as well. Now, the next one that we'll be coming back to... Let me get my rewards here. Confirm. Oh, she got a bunch of sticky glue, which is useful for the armor we want to grab for her. So now that she's back, let's have her rest here a little while. And this will tell us about enemies that we'll run into. It'll tell us what they drop, what they're weak to, what they're strong against. Pretty cool. Now, let's come over here and we have enough for another horse, which I will pick up. Because I'm looking to get an extra adventure here pretty soon. And let's see what we have here in our quest, meanwhile. This will give us 10 branches and 10 iron ore if we get pre-order level 1. You know what? That's not too bad. Let's go to boss skills and pick up pre-order level 1. This will give us 2 production slots, so... Boom, there it is. Let's get our reward for doing that. Excellent. And now the next thing we have to do is get up to 5,000 gold to proceed the story. That now is going to have to wait a while because we're going to start building up our actual store now. So here we go. We have the very first dude. He's not really that great, but, um... We can't really be too picky about it here. So let me go ahead and give this guy the sharpened branch that we have, the extra one. And he'll be coming over here, and now we have ourselves a new adventure. So let's go over here and set him up for work. His name is Mark, huh? So let's give you... Oh, you're at the crafting table? No, no, no. I don't want you there. I want you over here. Although I might have to actually have to pull you because the next dude I really want... My, my main crafter will be this guy. Oh, we have enough for it. 200 gold? Make it happen. The Joker has amazing dexterity, which makes him an ideal craft person. So there he is now. We're very broke, though, so now you guys have to go out there and probably look for some stuff for me. I don't think we'll be able to equip him properly, either. Let's see. Do you have a weapon? You do not. So, let's make you a weapon before we send you out. I think um, Lisa is good to go, but you know what? Let's um, rem remove this from you. I'll send you out afterwards. I'd rather send Mark out there. So Mark, let me give you that sharpened branch here. And let's set you up with that first aid skill. We don't have any equipment, but we'll try to make some here for you pretty soon. And that's about it. Early on, what you're going to be doing is just making equipment for your people before you start making items to actually sell. Keep that in mind. So let's see here. Um, since we have a bunch of items, let's see. Let's make a, a shitty weapon for Lisa. And we should be able to now make armor. So we need four sticks, two armors each, and we also need one stick. So we need six sticks, I want to say, right? So boom, 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 boom. Is that it? Now let's just make an extra one, just in case. So now we come over here and bam, bam. And bam. Give me that stick. Oh, we're actually missing. We're missing one stick. And bam. And if I'm right, this should actually open up an extra person. Oh, we failed! So, Mark failed because he ran into this guy. As I mentioned, eventually you run into, like, guys that are way too powerful for you. And that's where you have to kind of keep an eye and make sure you're jumping back and forth to be able to pull people out of combat. They won't be able to, you know, actually succeed it. So, he lost the items he, he found. But you do level up your skills even if you lose, so there is that. It's not really, you know, a failed attempt anyway. But since we have equipment now, let's come on over here and equip these bad boys. So Lisa, now I will give you that weapon. Meanwhile, let's also give you helmet. Oh, you know what? I made extra armor, not the actual um, hat for the other dude. That was my problem there. 
So, oh yeah, yeah. Since we gave her new stuff, she should also get a couple of more skills here. So I'm gonna give you the Vitality Raise for now. Keep first aid on. We'll deal, we'll try to get the other skill later. And let's send you out. Marky! Marky Mark! What do you got here for me? Let me oh yeah, I need to make a helmet for you. Meanwhile, go ahead and do the 13 of 13, obviously. And what I could do is, let's just go ahead and sell that extra one. For a little bit of extra cash here. And unfortunately, I'll give you a helmet afterwards. You go out now. Okay. Let's see here. Sub. What else do we have here? Mmm, that's about it. The one, the person I'm really looking forward to is Helmet Lover right here, which is requires a wooden helmet, so you know what? You, my friend. Make me that. Very easy to actually acquire Hope. And I'm going to be using Hope to replace Lisa, because Hope's going to be really, really amazing in the field here. So let's go over to... Oh! Success! Very good. Good job, Lisa. Uh-oh! Pull out! No! Mark mastered first aid, but he also died to the octopus. Really strong enemy early on. That's fine. Okay. How you doing here, Mark? I, I feel like um, Lisa's doing better than you, although her stats are now starting to decline here compared to him, but that's fine. She has had a better role when it came to finding stuff. So let's come over here and pick up Hope. There we go. So now with Hope, we have a really, really amazing adventure. So Lisa, it is time to go ahead over here and rest you up a bit. So Lisa, we shall... Well, first and foremost, let's remove all the equipment here. Boom, boom, boom. And rest her. Hope, work at the horse. Excellent. And now Hope, I'm going to go ahead and give you the branch. I don't think Hope requires a helmet. But let me try here. Oh, she does. She could use one. Okay. And then the armor. Cool. And let's give her Vitality Raise. And the first aid. Okay, and that's going to be our main adventure here early on. So now you go out there and get some items for me. Mark, get on out there as well. Very cool. So, now that we have our people slightly equipped, let's start worrying about making some equipment make some money over time. So, are there any special quests we could do here meanwhile? Too small leather for this guy. Um, we should be able to do that with... Oh, we failed already? Oh, he ran into a Mimic! Oh my god, Mimics are really, really strong. Mark, come on, dude, you, that was the first thing you ran into. Restart it again, dude. Uh-oh, pull out, pull out. That Fire Rat's gonna kill us right now. So, we got some items, let's restart that one again. Come on back. You know what, you guys are going too fast for me is a problem, because I have to, like, pay attention to this talk and also do... What You ran into a Mimic again? Both of you did! Yo, Mimics, can you, like, relax here? It's, like, early game, dog. <laughs> I'm trying to talk to the people and manage the store, and you guys running into, like, Mimics non-stop. Um, I needed two small leathers, we said, right? So, boom, boom, that should open up this sub-quest here for us. Commission for the tailor shop, give us 200 gold and a new recipe. And this gave us the Traveler's Hat and the Traveler's Shirt recipe. Very cool. Anything else we can do here? Meanwhile, you require a furnace and a forge, and that'll give us a new recipe. I think it's going to be for iron weapons, which is something that we definitely want to get involved with. But we need at least a thousand gold to make that happen. So we need to make money first before we're thinking about expanding. And that's about it, huh? How's my people doing? You failed again? You ran into a bee? I got a bee for you right here. Pull out! No! I was there! I was right there! Keep going at it. Maybe I should slow it down, huh? Like, I feel like since I have to keep jumping back and forth, like, it just, uh, especially because I'm talking, you know? If I was doing, if I wasn't doing commentary, it'd be a lot easier to just jump back and forth, but my brain, my brain is split three ways. Combat, store, and talking to you guys. It's a difficult task, believe me. Um, especially for a bird with a really small brain as it is. Now, let's see for my staff things. Mark, he will get an extra skill when he kills 10 slimes, so he's almost there. For her, we need to make an iron helmet, which requires the furnace, and then Joker requires to see a fire lizard as well. How are you guys doing now? <laughs> I'm worried about leaving you guys here alone. Oh, we have the fire rat coming up. After you chop down a tree, you have to get out of there, Hope. Get out of there now. This guy over here, even worse than the fire rat. Cool. Let's restart it. So we have some stuff coming in here. Meanwhile, let's see. Any special deliveries? A wooden helmet for this guy? We could easily make that. Joka! Make me a, a wooden helmet. First and foremost, you need to make a stick. No, let's make a couple of sticks here to have extra resources. As a matter of fact, we might as well just have him make all the sticks imaginable, because the branch alone is not really worth our time and investment. Now, if you're wondering why can I actually... Um, 
queue up more stuff over here, it's because you have to level up the skill. You know how we earlier opened up like uh, an extra allotment slot? That's what that's about. So you could definitely queue up a bunch of stuff, but you have to open it over time. Is this a mimic? It's a mimic. Get out. Ooh, we got it in time. Oh my god. Restart. Now, can you kill this? Um, oh no, you can't beat that thing. Pull out. And restart. Okay. Now, um, did you make that helmet? No, you haven't. Make it now. And we should be able to grab this quest right here, I want to say. Limited time mission, wooden helmet. We have it, right? There it is. Deliver it. 165 gold. Anything really cool right now? One furnace, one forge. We still need money for that. Three soft leathers. We need more fur. That's not going to happen anytime soon. Because we're not strong enough to kill the monsters who drop fur. So that's about it right now for the special quest. Now at this point we have to just make some random stuff for selling. So it is time for us to do crafting non-stop here. And I'm going to go and just start selling armor over and over. So what I want to do first and foremost is just perhaps make as much branches as possible here. How my people doing? Oh, get out of there. That beast going to kill you. And we have Fire Rat coming up here pretty soon. Confirm. Firm. Let's see. Craft, craft. We have a lot of sticky glue, so we'll be able to make a lot of armor for selling. So we'll be able to make a lot of money here this way here soon. So I'm not too worried about this. Let's see. A couple more branches. Pull out. Yeah, yeah, I didn't forget about you. I didn't forget about you this time. And she actually mastered first aid as well. Let's restart her. And Marky. Marky Mark. Get back out of the quest. All right, so now let's go ahead and make these for sale. Oh my god, we have a lot of wooden sticks. So we'll be able to make some really good money here pretty soon. Now, the, fa the higher dexterity, the faster you build this up as well. Now, all the extra stuff we're making is coming over here, so let's start selling. And here comes the very first actual customers walking in. This place seems nice. Yeah, you're damn right. It seems nice, especially when you give me your money. I right, a joker. Make more of those. How's it going in the field over here, guys? Octopus coming up. We're going to have to pull you out before that actually happens. Mark got the heavy armor status. What the hell? Not sure what that means. Pull out. And you have Octopus coming up here pretty soon. Restart her again. I wonder if the heavy armor status means you actually take less damage. Let me give it a try with this um, octopus coming up here, I wonder. Find a wild blueberry. Oh, it was expired, so my intelligence went down. Come on, Mark. Can you beat this thing? I, I doubt you have enough power to actually hurt it. Nope. You gotta pull out, buddy. You gotta pull out. Let's restart you now. No, oh, is that a mimic? Please be a legit chest, please. Hope you use first aid. I'll be right back. Do I have enough time for this? I don't, I don't think I do. Craft, craft. Get out of here. Is that a mimic? It's a mimic, get out! Yeah, <laughs> I got you this time, mimic! Oh, I'm gonna go ahead and kill Falcon. He's not gonna expect it. Yeah, fuck you. Alright, so let's go ahead and just restart her. Meanwhile, very cool. Alright, so I think we're done here pretty... I, I think we're out of time for the first video. Yeah, we are. Okay. I'm gonna wrap it up here, guys. I hope you enjoyed it. I will at least do one more video here. I want to show you more of the production stuff, but right now, early on, it's mostly about just getting enough equipment and just decking your people out so they actually survive out there. Because if you, they're decked out, you don't have to worry too much about constantly looking after them. You can just let them run on their own, and you can start focusing more on the stuff in the store over here. But I hope you guys enjoyed it. I will do one more video. If you guys do enjoy it, let me know. Let me know by leaving a like, and we may keep this around. We'll see. I will catch you next time.